Okay, this is the Model A. So this is close to an original Model A switch, which is the pop-out switch style and the armored cable. So how is this different from some of these uh, aftermarket switches here, right, that I have here? Uh, so different in a lot of ways. So <laughs> uh, big difference is, is that this housing, the switch housing and the cable, they're integrated. So like they're bonded here together. So the switch doesn't come off or is separate from the cable. It's, it was originally, I think, a security design like that. But anyway, that's the way it is. Uh, the other end that goes into your distributor looks just like the aftermarket ones here too. So I found out the term for this tip. It's called an end plunge, right? Plunge, like plunging in water, I guess. And this little clip here with the hole is an optional thing to hold the cable in place on top of your Ford Model A head. And this would be one of the studs in the head where the nut would screw on right there. Um, anyway, let's go back to the pop-out switch. So a few interesting things about an original or almost, this is not quite, I think it's close, to, it's a original type. I don't think it's actually original. But the first thing is, they call it a pop-out switch because it pops out. So what you do is when this is in your dash and you turn the key clockwise, it will pop out. So let me see if I can show you that here. See, it just popped out. And that is when the switch is popped out, there's a connection now from your battery to your distributor to start the car. It sounds a little backwards, right? You would think that like with the pop-out switch out, it's disconnected and you think when it's pushed in, it would be connected, but it's the opposite. <laughs> when it's pushed in, it's disconnected and when you pop out, you need the key to pop it out. Here, ready? There. Anyway, so that's, that's how that works and there's two tests you can do on this. Um, this is why I think there's a problem with this um, ignition switch and cable is because one of the tests I think fails. So what I'm going to do is, let me put this back, I'm going to put one end here into my bench vise here. So let me do this quickly and I'm using cloth to protect, I don't want to scratch the cable because uh, I'm actually going to have to return this. I bought it from someone. So um, anyway, so just put snug, not too, that's probably good enough. Okay, so I'm using my light switch test, right? So this is a test light. So I'm going to clip, uh, it's got a little battery in there, so it gives me a little current. Basically, when the light lights up, you have a connection. So I'm going to put one end here on this end plunger, this little alligator clip. I'm going to put that on right there. All right, then the other end is the switch. Oh, this is going to be contorted. Oh, this is not going to be, okay. <laughs> Let's see how this works. It's upside down, but the test is still the same. So the first test you do is this little uh, tip that you screw off here. This is like a, like a brass terminal here, a little brass uh, screw. And this is the red wire when it comes from the coil into your dash to the switch here it connects there so you would put that on and you'd put this cap on there and so what we're going to do is the first test is switch is off right it's pushed in when i put this test light on this little brass switch here it should be no connection because the switch is off right so i put the i put it sorry I put it there, not the body, just there. Can you see that? No light. Okay, now I'm going to pop the switch out, turn it on clockwise. It's on. Now I should see the test light come on. So here I'm going to do this. See the light it comes on? Off, on. Okay, so that test is working. And just to double check one more time, uh, and by the way, a quick trick, you can take the... Once you take the keys out, you can actually turn off the ignition. So with the light on, double check, you can push it back in and it should shut it off. Okay, that works. The second test is on the body. So the switch has this body here. I think it's just made of like pop metal. Anyway, 
let's start again. So switch is off, it's pushed in. The test here is the test light on this body. If you, uh, you should have a connection when the switch is off but not when it's on. So what that means is when I put this on here, the light should go on. It does. There, can you see that? Now, we're gonna put the switch on, popped out. Now, the test light should not come on if I put it against the body. It should stay off. But what I'm seeing here is I put it on the body and sure enough, the light is on. So. I think that is a problem. I'm going to find out for sure, but it looks like I'll have to send this back to where I got it. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to use an aftermarket switch and ignition cable in the meantime until I get this resolved. 